in today's video, we're playing Way of the Hunter, and we're going gun shopping. Now, this is only the second time I've ever played this game, and the first time, we just stinking murked a deer with old grandpa's 30-30 out here. It's not the best gun out here for deer. So, we're actually going back to the lodge. We're going to get on the internet, and we're going gun shopping. We're going to buy the best stinking deer gun we possibly can. But first, we actually have to go back and recover the Jeep, because I currently have no idea where it is. Yeah, here we go. Here's old Jeep. Let's go ahead, and we'll take it on back. Oh, that's a fool. And then we'll get into gun shopping. All right, here we go. So I think we just come in here and get online because there's no gun stores in the middle of nowhere. Here's my emails. Don't care. Let's go shopping. What we're looking for is a gun that we can take deer hunting that can maybe reach out a little bit more range, have a little bit better, I don't know, a little bit better than a 30-30. Let's just look at some of them. Here's a Remington 7 83. I don't like them. A Steyr. Don't like that either. Also don't like that. I think those guns look ridiculous. Another Steyr. Another Steyr. Another Steyr. Another Steyr. I like this one. This one's pretty good. A Stinger 22. That's just a 10 22, which is fine. Here's some shotguns. And I think that's all the guns we have in the game. That's not many. I don't know. The game did just come out. And this one's actually the only one that's even unlocked. So while we're here, let's keep shopping. Elk collar, deer collar, roe deer collar, deer grunt collar, red deer collar, hog collar, duck collar, goose collar, jackrabbit predator collar, and a moose collar. I call that a moose call. Attachments. Here's a red dot. I don't know what that is. Then here's a Leupold. There's the VX Freedom. That's the one I have. There's the VX, the VX 6HD. I actually have the 5HD. That's a pretty good scope. If we can get that one, that's a real good scope. That'll be perfect perfect for deer hunting but we just we just don't have it boundaries Ooh. so apparently in this game there's like private land and the only way that you can hunt the private land is to just straight up buy a pass which is kind of cool but looks like we're buying this one because it's the only one even available to purchase we'll go ahead and equip it and it looks like unfortunately we're equipping it with this same little scope so i'm actually going to unequip this mm. I shouldn't use this bad boy for more than 120 yards. Are you crazy? Is he crazy? Who in the world wouldn't shoot a deer under 200, 120 yards? Now, keep in mind, let me see if I can pull it out. Oh, here's Grandpa's rifle. Jeez, brother. That's what the iron sights are like. That's gonna be tough. But now this other rifle, it's a 243. I think 243s are all right for deer, but I would prefer something bigger like a 308. But now we have to get in our thing. We actually have to get, wait, what is that? Oh, mule deer need zone. Cool. All right, well, it looks like we got a decent little drive. Hopefully, there'll be some more deer up there. We're going to get in our little Jeep. We're going to head that way. Catch y'all back when we get there. All right, guys, we have reached the place. <laughs> I remember when I came our... the difference between a white-tailed deer and a mule deer. Grandpa used to tease me about it. Yeah. Before we go shoot an animal, let's read this. Hit reaction, the animal's immediate reaction to the shot based on the immediate behavior and movement of the animal, you can tell how successfully you place a shot. In last episode, it kind of went, Argh! that's a good shot. It's usually what they do. Whoa, and there is five different behaviors the animal could do. Animal variations based on age and fitness. Animals can be young, old, and just overall better health than others. Spooking animals. Animals are usually very skittish and run after the first sign of humans. We'll learn more about that in a minute. All right, so let's just walk up here. Let's pull out our binoculars and we're just gonna start looking over here. Oh, there's a deer right there. But daggum, son. No, I spooked him. I guess I did it, didn't I? That's all right. Let's walk over here. We may get in this big buddy stand thing. Might be able to still get on them deer. I don't know. May not have spooked them, but there's a good chance it well, daggum, there's more deer. Oh, snap, there's a, there's a buck. So just from zooming in on him, I can see he's actually a buck. Um, He's 220 yards away, which is pretty far. Oh, there's another buck. I may try to take him one way or another. Oh, my wind's blowing right towards him, though. Should I just pull out the gun and try to shoot him? Man, that don't sound like a great idea, does it? Taking it, taking it, taking it, I'm taking it, I'm taking it. Oh, no, no, no. Watch him, watch him, see where it goes. Watch him, see where it goes. Watch him, watch him. Ah, oh, I don't think I hit him. Was that a good shot or not? Instant replay. Guys, I just can't tell. That's one thing, I think, I think that's like the biggest thing with this scope. It's just, the scope's just so small. I don't know if that's a good shot or not. I don't know, we'll be all right. There'll be more deer. That was a good one though. Oh, there goes one. Oh, I spooked him again. Oh, dang, I spooked some more. And in this game, they don't throw out warning calls. They just run. Let's go up here and look at the blood. If we can look at it, we can see there's bubbles in the blood. That means, hey, we got a lung shot. If we look at it and we see there's green stuff in it, hey, we got a gut shot. And plus, 
here, we just found a whitetail deer need zone. So I think he was standing somewhere around here. There he was. Yeah, this is the blood. It looking at the blood, it's dark red. That's liver. We gotta give him time to die. Liver shots don't die that quick. Well, we'll work our way slow. We'll give him time to die. In the meantime, though, we will go ahead and mark this, which is an American Badger eating zone. We know the deer went over this way, so let's go ahead and we'll just track it and see where it goes. I'll get up with you guys whenever we get a little bit closer to actually finding him. Yo, 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 check it, check it. I just seen this pheasant. I know this isn't the right... <laughs> There they go, there they go. I know that wasn't the right gun for it, but man, I mean, that's the first pheasant and we just already shot that deer. I just wanted to shoot a pheasant, man. I wanted to see what happened and uh, it absolutely destroyed it. So we didn't get hardly anything. We're getting a dollar out of it. We literally didn't get like anything out of it, but we do get to see the pheasant up close and this was even a female, so we wasn't too good at that either. Now let's go ahead and uh, get back on track with our deer and I'll keep tracking that and I'll let you know when we get close. And and here we go. He fell, died right here in this bush. See what kind of shot we made. Oh, it was a gut shot. It hit a little bit of everything, it looks like. Look, hit the guts. Hit the liver. That's where our dark blood came from. Then it came through. Hit the lung. Then it came on through. Just destroyed the lung all the way through, it looks like. And did the bullet stop? Did the bullet stop right there? If it would have came on out, it would have came straight on out and busted out his, his left shoulder. And there right there is not a bad buck at all. And we get a whole five hundred dollars from that thing all right bet down here in the bottom left corner it says hey you have a restaurant you can actually sell wild game but before we do that oh there's another dang pheasant brother i'm not gonna shoot it i would shoot it but i'm not going to that, that's a male too Oh, dude, that is going to be so fun to get a shotgun and come out here. But before I go back, I do want to kill another deer and just get a little bit more used to how the whole game works. So we're out here in this meadow. I'm just going to find a deer and we're going to lay lead to it. Here appears to be another need zone for the American Badger. Okay, cool. There's deer right there. And that one in the back is a mature male. Oh, gosh, yeah, it is. It just went down, though. Oh, and there's another mature. That's a two-star. That one's also a two-star. All right, we got time. We can get close. Closer. Neither one of them's broadside though, and they're both bedded down. So what are we gonna do? How are we gonna get close enough to take that shot? I think that if we cross this creek, get up on that rock, we may have a pretty good shoot. We will have to shoot down. It'll be better than having to shoot at their neck and hope you get the spine. We're gonna have to go all the way back here just to get up on that rock. Straight up, second time playing this game, I'm actually pretty happy about it. Like this game is fun. Now, every game is fun for the first week. It's about one weekend it starts to either drop off or just keep being fun. But as of now, this is pretty fun. We've really only killed a few different animals, though. All right, so right here, we're getting pretty close. Pretty sure those deer were just right over that hump or something. I think they... Yeah. Oh, yeah. That mule deer is about 200 yards away. There's a two-star. That's a good-looking mule deer. And it's broadside. Here's the thing, though. There's another trophy mule deer, and then there's another trophy mule deer. At this point, it's shoot with it, whichever one you like the best. And right now, I think I'm going to take that one. So let's go ahead and get out the gun. It's 160-something yards. It's 164, actually, which is perfect. It's aimed down sight. Let's go ahead and uh, zero our guns in. And I think we go for him right here. All right, we're going, we're going, we're sending them to 243 straight through the shoulder. Here we go. Oh, yeah, he ain't going far. He's not. He can't. Literally can't go very far. We'll watch for him. Is that him? He's down. He's down. Too bad all the deer spooked off, though, which is okay because that's normal. He's down. We watched him fall. Let's go over here and get our animal. Update. We found some more. About 2.30. There's a buck sitting down. Let's just work our way a little bit closer. Let's go claim this buck. And then, by golly, we're going to take one of them. They all appear to be calm. And our buck is right there. Here's one thing about this game. I'm pretty sure you can, like, literally cull the gene pool. So if that buck's not super big, we can shoot him, and then he won't be in the gene pool no more. Oh, he's going down. He's going down right now. I don't, I don't know if we'll be seeing him coming out of the creek. Oh, there's a fox! There's a fox! Reload, 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 reload. There's a fox. I want to get it. Let's go ahead. Let's pick up this deer. Then we'll go over there, and I'm pretty sure that other deer is just laying in the ditch in the creek. We'll get him. Then we'll try to pursue that fox, and may, man, we may get him too. Oh, yeah. This is pink blood. We've not seen this kind. Pink with bubbles in it? That means it's a long shot. And that is exactly what it is. Long shot came straight through here and exited. Double lung. It was literally about a, as perfect of a shot as you could get. And that placement 
straight up from the shoulder right in there. That's perfect. We got over $500 for that one. I don't see the red fox, but as we walk over here, he may pop, he may just pop out. There he is, there he is, there he is. No, 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 no. I don't think we're gonna get that fox. But as for our deer, I think we can just belt look over here in the creek and he should be here. I definitely don't think he went very far. Well, no, I can see blood over there on the other side of the creek. He must have made it a good little way, I guess. He made it further than I expected. But now once again, you can look at it. It's lung blood, so he ain't going far. And there he is, literally laying perfectly in the road. That's about perfect right there. He's not much of a buck, but I don't know. He's pretty all right. Oh, cool. Look at this. That's how much money we're making. And he's a small, small build. Cool, I like it. Well, I reckon the red fox is gone. Let's go back to the truck and let's head back to the camp and we'll see what we can do opening up that restaurant and we might be able to start selling this meat. Okay, let's use my computer. Another recipe upgrade. Chicken, midlife crisis, husbands. What the heck is this? Long story short, he wants some pheasant meat. I accept your mission. How many do you want? Okay, fine. Looks like I just, it is what it is. All right, well, you heard the man. We're going pheasant hunting. We gotta go to the store, though, and we have to buy a shoddy. Well, we have three grand. That's pretty all right. I'm definitely looking at this one. I mean, these right here, I'm sure these are cool, but, like, I'm going, oh, it's a 20 gauge. Why the heck does it say semi-automatic? If this is a semi-automatic, I don't want it. Semi-automatic. Okay, I'm stupid. Semi-automatic is exactly what I want. My bad. I thought it said bolt action. We're gonna buy this one, and then I don't know if I can put a red dot on it or not, but... I really don't want to. I think it's fine just how it is. We're gonna get rid of this and we're going to equip this. Let's go out there and let's get some pheasants. All right, let's go ahead and switch to our shotgun. I can hear some pheasants down here. This shotgun holds five. That is more than the legal hunting limit in Kentucky at least, but I am not gonna complain about it. We should be able to just run through this field and honestly jump up some pheasants. It should, we, we shouldn't have a hard time. We gotta get 6.6 .6 pounds, so that's three pheasants. Right through there, we're making, we're hearing pheasants. And look at there, there's pheasant feathers. Uh oh, there they go, there they go, there they go. Uh, reload, I don't know if I hit any of those. Oh, no, 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 no. They're flying again. All right, there's another one up here still. Let's walk back up here, we might be able to see him. This is the first time I've used the shotgun, so I definitely wasn't ready for that. Man, we was close right there. We got him to fly up, I just wasn't able to put him down. I don't know, we'll go back down in this lower bottom where we found those first ones and we'll go from there. All right, check it. I see a feather, I see one. It's right there, I can see the little dot, but we're gonna get up on him. What's someone even supposed to do about that now? I shot him. What's going on now here? Why haven't I been able to kill any at all? I've spent like a lot of shots on these things. I think I've shot eight times and not connected on any of them. Do I even have a front sight? Am I supposed to have a bead up there? I've been wondering that the whole time. Here's where I hit one. You're telling me that much blood comes out of a pheasant and it doesn't die immediately? And plus, does this purple mean that I hit something? Because I don't know. This just blows my mind. How can I not kill one? I've been trying pretty hard too. All right, there's our first pheasant. It doesn't feel right, but we if that's how I have to kill every single pheasant, I guess that's how we're gonna kill every single pheasant. Because that is the only way that I figured out how. And apparently, oh, apparently I've done shot this bird twice. Look at that now. The BBs went into the bird and I hit it with quite a lot of shots and that wasn't enough to kill it. Then it's the second shot that actually hit the parts that matter. So you have to do a lot more than just hit the bird, I guess. My hunter instinct says there's another pheasant over here. But I don't exactly know how I'm gonna get to it because they're just they're just so smart or something. No! What was that? What? Look at that. For one, it says it was 100 yards away, but it definitely was not 100 yards away. I'm telling you, we started with 50 rounds of ammo, now we have 25, and we have killed one bird. I'm about to pull out the 243 and just start killing them like that. Yes! I think I killed one. Yes, it's there, it's there. And I shot this guy twice as well. That's what it finally took to kill it. All right, apparently that's enough. That's all I need though. So let's go back to the mailbox and see what kind of mail we got. That is like unbelievably harder than I ever imagined. 
and I definitely could not hit any of the flying shots. I just got done changing the time. As you can look outside, you can even see it is nighttime, and we're about to go after a deer, I think, named Hollywood. But before we do that, I want to buy a new gun, because I really don't like a 243 at all. I want something with more power, and that can kill something a lot bigger. We got a lot of money, so that is a good sign. But we also need to buy another scope, because the scope I got is not that great either. I want to buy this scope, but I don't have enough money for it. So at this point, the question is do I go with a bigger gun or a bigger scope? Let's see what kind of gun I can buy. This one's in 7 millimeter 08. It's good caliber. I don't have much experience with it. This one's also in 243. I don't want it. This one's in 223. Goodness, I don't want that. 338 Lapua Magnum. This one's also in 22. That one's in 3030. That one's in 300 Win Mag. I would like that. That one's in 308. I'd love to have that one, but just straight up looking at the prices, I can't really afford any of these. This one would be the best gun for me to buy next, but for now, I'm going to wait until I can afford the 308 or the 300 Win Mag. Probably the 308. And I think the next thing I'm going to buy is just a better scope so that I can put bullets where they actually need to go. We have to go to that valley over there. We found a good spot last night. It's over there. We got to head over there, though, before the sun comes up. Deer should be passing through there, so let's do it. I will say that dawn or dusk, whatever time it is, looks pretty good. This is pretty epic. I think we're going after a monster. From what I can tell, this deer is 10 years old. Uh, so somewhere up here, we're looking for a big deer. That's, at this point, that's all we really know. And apparently, he has an abnormal antler. Target acquired. You can barely see it, but you can see that that deer right there in the crosshairs has a odd antler. Now, 358 yards, we don't need to be taking that with no 243. I mean, in real life, in real life, ah! 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 In real life, you probably could, but this ain't real life. This is a game. Slowly but surely, we'll get up there. We'll take him out. I could take him at the 12 gauge, but the 12 gauge had a hard time shooting a pheasant. All right, guys, we're getting really close. Oh, that's him. That's him right there. You can see his one antler pretty good. That's the open season looking outfit. He's bedded down. I'm going to start I'm gonna start heading down to the left a little bit because I got to get to where I got a broadside shot. If I don't have a broadside shot, we don't need it. We're trying to kill the deer. Oh, he's standing again. He's 175. To get a little bit closer would be nice, but to get more broadside is definitely what we need. All right, guys, here we go. I think I'm going to take the shot. As soon as I can get eyes back on him, and he's right there. Now he's broadside. He's about 130. Let's do it. That is not what we want to shoot him with. We'll pull out the 243. We're zeroed for 164, so let's zero down to 109. He shouldn't go far. That was a good shot. He's running right downhill. I, I feel like it's a good shot. Roll the instant replay. It felt good to me. He acted like he got hit good. I think it should be a double lung, and honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if he's already dead over there. But, now I'll say this. If I had the 308, he'd be, he we wouldn't be tracking at all. Now, I'm going to keep the gun up just in case I see him out there limping. We can put a nut in him. Oh, we got blood. We got blood. Yep, we got blood. We're on him. That's good blood, too. There he is. Oh, son. He is done. Let's see what he looks like, boys. Where'd the bullet go? in we barely missed his heart and that thing went straight through the rib double lung but almost hit the heart let's see what his antlers look like i don't have it i don't i can't move this around i don't like that there's his antler though it's all raggedy and stuff should we taxidermize this guy our first real buck santa claus is in the lodge let's go check him out Hello, Hollywood. Let's edit this taxidermy stand. Hollywood's father. Oh, snap, dude. And then Hollywood. How do I do it? So this is Hollywood's dad, and I just went and killed Hollywood? I don't know how to do this game. I literally don't know what I'm doing. I'm clicking every button there is. Oh, okay, I got it, I think. Taxidermized trophy. Cha-ching. We got it. Sweet. So now we have Hollywood and his dad, which is weird because I, I don't think deer actually... Do that, but I'll take it. If you've played this game, comment below. What do you actually think about it? If you want to see the first time I played the game, click it over here or click it over here to watch me explore the Yukon on Hunter Call of the Wild.